Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, if you want your students to write about their summer vacation in a fresh and a unique way, I think you're going to want to check this out. Here is a little summer booklet that I've created, and I've used a die that has a cover as well as these tabbed pages for the inside. I've gone ahead and using the same die, I've cut the interior pages out of lined paper. And you can see that by dividing it into the months of the summer, it's just a, a format that makes it easy for the kids to go back and retell the things that they did, the highlights of each month, and kind of a special format to hold all their stories. Now, in order to start with, I want to show you it's a three die set, and I have it sitting here on the table. There is the piece that has the tab at the top. There's one with the tab in the middle, and then there's one that will become the front and the back cover. If you have a super, super thick album, you could use this. It's meant to be a spacer, but quite honestly, even with a, a class of 30, I can't imagine that you're going to need this for this project. What you want to do is cut two of this with the tab at the top because it's going to be the front tab, and then I'm going to flip this one over so that it will also be the bottom tab. And then I'll take the green. This will become the middle tab. And the holes are even already there for you to give you now the tab divider pages for this little booklet. Now for the front cover, what I did was I just cut a piece of red and it's positioned so that you can still see all the tabs, which I really love. And then I've cut out of chipboard a base that is a nice sturdy base that will be the back for this. Before we actually bind it and put it together, I think it's helpful to see and do the decorating while it's loose. So let me show you what I did. I just simply took orange paper and I cut it in a strip. I, I punched a hole so that it could align with the hole that's already there. And I'm just going to put adhesive on the strip and I'll make sure that my hole aligns with that middle section. And then I'm going to just, instead of trimming it off, I think it will look fun to have this warm color on the inside as well. So I'm just going to fold it over. Once I have this section, then all I did was I took the sun and I'm going to just position it. You can decide, you know, exactly where you want the different rays to hit, but I'm going to position it. I'll put some adhesive on the back of this. And then in order to give it some dimension, I went back and I just used different circle dies to layer on top. I think that this is a three inch circle and it lines up with the perforation on the sun. Here is a slightly smaller circle. Lots of circle dies available, plus a lot of dies, like if you have the camera die, when you, when you cut it out, the lens is also a circle. The same with a lot of the Christmas ornaments. You may have lots of circle dies in different sizes or you may have circle punches. I've just gone back with a white pen to write the word summer, and you can see it goes together quick and easy to make the cover page. For the interior pages, I used the same, this same die that you see here that cover, cuts all the holes, and you're going to place however many pages, depending on how much each student wants to write. You can always go back and add more later, but I added the, the line pages on the inside. And then once you have all of this ready to bind, you have a couple of cool choices. If in your storage closet you happen to have ring binders, of course you can use these as your binding. If you haven't seen bird leg bands, you're in for a treat because they're inexpensive and they're colorful and they work great. I, I put these together to show you lots of colors and lots of sizes to choose from. And when you look at the smallest size, the quarter inch bird leg band, a bag of 50 is about $6 and up to the largest size, a bag of 50 is about $8 or $8.50. So they're not expensive for 50 or 100 of these bird leg bands. And all you need to do is to take the bird leg band and just like you would with a key ring, I'm going to use it to go over all the pages. I'm going to just twist it until the end lines up with the hole and then twist it again. And that easily, you've created the first binding. You would do the same thing with the other two. And bada bing, you have a really cool little booklet. You know, even your most reluctant writers, they're sure to enjoy sharing their summer stories in a fun little book like this.